Hello everybody on YouTube and welcome to this uh, Welcome to FX Guru to another tutorial and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make a simple game using the Blender game engine Let me show you how the game looks and the game is very simple uh, You have to move this character using arrow keys and eat these cubes <laughs> By the way the name of this game is eat the cubes uh, I know it looks a little laggy but it works it works very smooth actually but it's the problem of the screen recorder so let's get started with our scene and I will open this simple scene now I am going to give some logic bricks to this character to our main character I will add a sensor a keyboard sensor uh, and controller and a uh, motion actuator now what the keyboard sensor does it senses when a key is pressed suppose if we uh, set the key value to up arrow then it will sense when the up arrow is pressed and we'll connect this to the AND controller and the controller basically controls where to put this information that keyboard senses and now we'll control this uh, connect this and controller to this motion actuator and the actuator will basically uh, take the information from this sensor and change the motion of this character basically it means that when the up arrow is pressed it will change the motion of the character now you can set what it will change so we will change the y value to 0 0.05 now let's start the ambient player and see what happens if you press the arrow key up arrow and see it moves in the upwards direction now we'll add three more keyboard sensors and three more and controllers and finally three more actuators motion actuators like this now we'll connect this keyboard sensor to this hand controller and then to the motion actuator now I will set this key value to left arrow key and the motion to you know, we are going to rotate this so change the z rotation value to 1 and now if we start the ambient player and press the left arrow key it will rotate in the left direction like so now connect this keyboard sensor and the end controller to the actuator and in this keyboard sensor it is going to sense the right arrow key and move in the right and rotate in the right direction so change the z, val z rotation value to minus one and finally we are going to work with our last sensor actuator and the controller so connect these like this and ch change the key value to spacebar uh, this keyboard uh, through this uh, by pressing spacebar we can jump uh, our character will jump I'm sorry our character will jump so we'll change the location of this character of Z to 0 0.5 blender unit 0 0.5 blender unit and now let's check it out by starting the MD player so now if you press the up arrow it will go in the upward direction it also rotates very nicely and also jumps when spacebar is pressed but it doesn't work fine to fix this we are going to we are going to change the physics of our character so go to the physics tab and change the physics type to character and mark actor now it will 
work with the gravity and stuff and now if we jump you can see this and we can also rotate but the rotation is pretty slow I guess so we will change the left rotation to oops, uh, z value 4 degrees and this one minus 4 degrees and now it works very fine very good and also change this cube to character now we'll give a property to our character and its name is ch now we'll make it disappear or end when it collides with our character so we'll add a collision sensor means it will sense whether it collides with an object or not and the property in the property we will type ch which is the property of our character that means that it will only disappear when it collides with an object whose property is ch now we will add an and controller and connect these two and we will add an edit object equator and connect this now change this to add it changes from add object to end object means that when it collides with our character it will end itself now we'll make let's copy this we'll make we'll copy many of them like so now let's try our game see this works very very fine so that's it for now uh, in the next tutorial we'll probably make the game over activity and uh, score stuff but for now that's it if you learned something please like and for more videos or tutorials subscribe thanks for watching